Peace and love, younger lovers. We are on our 48th and 49th asana. I'm going to do these two together. They are a high lunge and crescent or low lunge. And so uh, to do that, we're going to start at the top of our mat with our feet hip width apart. And uh, we're going to step back just like if we were going to go into our warrior one. So if we step back, but in high lunge, heel up and we're pressing back, leg stays pretty straight, your uh, front knee is stacked over your ankle, your shin is straight, and you're really pressing back through your heel, pull the belly in and up, drop those shoulders, and there's a lot of variations that you can do with high lunge. You can bring your hands up overhead like you would do in um, Warrior One. You can bring your hands behind you. You can put them in prayer position. So there's just a lot of things you can do in your high lunge here. So I'm going to go ahead and go down into our low lunge and then I'll do the other side for both. So with low lunge from your high lunge, you're just going to bend that knee, flatten your foot, maybe bring your foot out and we want to really get down into this stretch. This really stretches the psoas muscle or what they call your hip flexors and we all are really tight in our hip flexors. The shin is nice and straight, your knee is stacked over your ankle and you want your leg right out of your hip. So if you can't hold your pose here, if you have blocks, you could always have your blocks here or you can bring your fingertips or your hands down to the floor. So that's your crescent lunge. If you want to come back into your high lunge, you would just tuck your toes under and press into the ball of the foot to come up. And that would be your high lunge. And now to come out of that, we got to really press into the ball and push forward to stand up. <laughs> so I'm going to turn around to the other side real quick. So we're at the top of our mat. I'm going to step back with the right foot this time. Keep that heel up for high lunge because we're not in warrior one. Again, you do whatever you want with your hands, prayer position, or interlock them. And then to go down into your low lunge or crescent moon lunge, drop to the knee, flatten the foot. Bring this foot out a little bit. I'm going to have to press it back a little bit. A little bit more flexible. And we just want to make sure the shin is nice and straight. Your knees stacked over your ankles. This leg is right out of the hip. Really pressing into, pushing this hip down to the floor. Really opens up this muscle, this band that goes across. And then again, to come into your high lunge, tuck your toes under. You got to scooch up just a little bit and press into the ball to lift. There's your high lunge. Push up to the front of the mat. And that is our high and low lunge. Peace and love.